Hi guys, um, I just want to do a quick video. I'm going to make this as fast as I can. I've got a couple quick notes I want to go over. I just rolled over 5 million views and I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's helped me along the way and uh, maybe tell a couple quick stories about how I started and uh, the name and uh, yeah, I'm just going to go over a few things. Like I got, uh, I just rolled over 5 million views last night. I'm pretty proud of it. It took a long time to get here and yeah, there's channels that started way after me that just crushed me, but nah, it happens. <clears throat> so at the beginning I wrote... Uh, Home of RC Athletes, thanks for checking out my channel. I started doing this for two things. To show me and my buds having fun and to try and get others to join. And it's working. If you keep on watching, thumbing, and commenting, I'll continue to put a smile on your face. I promise. That's what I wrote way back when uh, I started doing the RC thing. Because before that I did one-to-one -one, uh, off-roading and camping videos that I never really posted much. And I t took them all down except for one. And uh, that's where damn camera came from because I'd go out with the old JVC compact VHS and I'd film us one to one 4 by 4 and then us getting drunk and hanging out around the campfire and people would be like, put that damn camera away. So that became the name and then I switched over to RC and after uh, damn camera came, uh, what did I do next? I want to say RCDC because I had... Uh, RC, yeah, radio controlled damn camera, RCDC, but then it felt like too much of a ripoff of ACDC to do that. So then I changed again and I changed to RC Athletes, I believe it was after that. I, th I thought there was a third name. There's something else in my brain that tells me that there's a third name, like the RC Dungeon, something to do with the basement and calling it a dungeon. I also kicked around the Trail King or something like that back in the day. Because uh, my first subscriber when I first started doing RC was uh, Andrew Upside Down. And uh, I thank you, thank you, Andrew. I always remember that. And then my ninth subscriber was Medic, and it blew me away because when I clicked on his name, he was he was the guy. Like I forget his numbers back in the day, but I he was at it for about a year before me, and he already was king. Like he was the first to start the RC videos, and it was amazing to have him as a sub. And I messaged him, and we talked, and we met, and friends. Like amazing relationship with that guy. He's awesome. So thank you, Medic. Um, yeah, that covers the name and how I started and with subs and what. And if you guys are starting out now, I, I get asked every now and then about advice on a channel. There's basically two two things. One, you got to be productive. You have to work at it and work at it and work at it. You take a week off and your numbers just drop. You have to put up a video every two or three days. Some guys make amazing videos once a week or even once a month. That's fine. But when you're starting out, I think you got to do it more often. Because you just, you just got to plug yourself out there and get yourself on every social media you can. And then number two would be make it about you. If you're making it about RCs, fine, play with RCs all the time, but be yourself. Don't try and put on a persona or try and uh, imitate another YouTuber. It's fine to be influenced and be inspired by other people, but always just be yourself. And I've always tried to do that. Maybe that's why my numbers aren't bigger than they should be. But uh, that'd be my only advice if you're starting out a channel and that's what... Are you looking for any kind of advice? Work at it hard. Don't take time. Basically, don't take time off from it. And then, uh, yeah, be yourself. Just be you, and it's going to be all right. Um, now, the amount of videos I got, normally it would be like on every other, almost every other thank you video I've done where it's thank you, medic, thank you, medic, thank you, medic. This time I can actually thank myself because of the 5 million views, I think about 3.2 million of them, I was looking at it earlier, are all from fishing videos. And uh, that's me. And fishing got started by accident. I'll tell you what. Because, <laughs> see what I tell you what, because I was thinking of Ted. And Ted says that all the time. I used to hang out with Ted all the time, and I miss that guy all the time. But uh, we don't roll together anymore. Eh, life goes on. But uh, when Ted and I used to go boating all the time, we'd go for bad weather or sketchy situations where you might lose your boat or stuff. Because Ted always is on the edge, and he's hilarious. Is one of my, one of the many reasons that makes him great. Oh, I'm losing my breath. <clears throat> but uh, we were out, fit, or out boating, not fishing yet, because we haven't we hadn't discovered fishing yet. And Ted's boat dies. I forget if it was ESC, ESC bad batteries or lipo, the remote. I can't remember what it was. But his boat died out in the middle of the third pond down in Carbon Park. So we're like, ah, shit, how are we going to get it? I'm like, I can go out and bump you, but it'll take all day to get it in. There's no wind. There's no current. It's just sitting there. And uh, neither one of us want to go swimming. So we're actually just, everybody fishes there. So I, I see a ball of line, and there's a, up a few feet in the air, there's a little rappello, a little red one. 
about three or four inches long rapella, two hooks on it. And I'm like, well, and, and some line. I'm like, dude, I'll just tie this on to the back of my boat and I'll go out and grab your boat as long as I don't get snagged. So I send my, I, we tie it on, we send the Bristol Bay out to get uh, Ted's Arley Burke Destroyer. And as I'm heading there, all of a sudden my boat just stops. And I'm like, oh, I'm snagged. Now we're both fucked. And we're, ah, ha, ha, we both laugh, fuck it. And all of a sudden my boat starts fucking wigging around and stuff. And I'm like, dude, I think there's a fish on there. There's no way. A fish should be scared by the boat. There's no way. And yeah, I start throttling the boat. And here and behold, I got a fucking fish on. So that's how boat fishing got started. I did get Ted's boat back and stuff. So in the link in the description box of this video, I'm going to put uh, the two most popular fishing videos, which one has got just over 2 million and the other one's got over 1 million. So there's my 3 million some views from mainly fishing videos of those two. And yes, a lot of it was medic. And not the fishing videos, but the rest of my channel. A lot of it was medic promotion, so thanks. Um, and then I'll put a third link down to my personal favorite video, which I can't, I don't know how many views it's got, but it's nowhere near the million category. But uh, it's my personal favorite fishing video. I think it's a great one. Of course, it stars Ted and myself, and I think JD's there too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Um, the future of my channel, I'm going to keep plugging away at it which uh, I've been kicking around the idea of selling my house and going back to Ontario. I wanted to do it differently because things out here in Calgary suck for me right now. Um, I've been bouncing from job to job for the last uh, couple months, uh, two jobs, and uh, just things aren't the way they were before COVID and it's kicking me hard. I got debt that I can't pay down with the wages I can now get because I'm not making as much money as I used to, but you know, you keep keep plugging along and try and keep your chin up and do your best and hopefully things work out for me but right now they're beyond tight like <laughs> so beyond tight it sucks so much um but yeah if I go back home or when I go back home I guess it, I should say um my YouTube channel should get larger I think the where I'm from is what people would call God's country it's in the middle of nowhere and it's surrounded by a lake so fishing videos and trail videos should be fantastic. Um, there's so much going on in my mind when I'm thinking about this. I didn't plan this too much. I thought about the video for the last couple weeks because they saw me creeping up to the 5 million viewpoint. And uh, it's, uh, it's a lot to take in sometimes when you're thinking about what the future is going to hold because you want things. But even right now, as I was talking about going back home, I wanted to go back home with a, a few ten thousand, tens of thousands of dollars in my pocket to go back home and be comfortable for a bit and then you know get a mediocre job and pay my bills and life goes on but now I'm on the other side of the the other side of the fence by far I can sell my house now and I still go home with 30 or 40 grand in debt which really blows so going back is slightly daunting but I miss my mom so much I miss all my family I miss the land I miss the water everything about there is great sometimes I wonder why I left <laughs> and uh, yeah that's a different story we'll get that well we well, can talk about that on, maybe on a live video in the future but I think that's about where I'm going to cap it. Maybe I should throw out some names, because other people helped me out a, long, a lot along the way. I'm going to say some names, and then we'll call it a day. Um, so I'm trying to go through this in, in time. So Andrew Upside Down was my first subscriber, so thank you. Medic was my ninth subscriber, and has been guiding me from the beginning. And yeah, this my laziness that stops me from growing. I know that. Uh, and then going on, SS Louie was one of the first people I met uh, in RC that became a good friend. I met him down at uh, at uh, Blackfoot RC and we raced for a while and then we both got into crawling and uh, I met, uh, or not met, but I already had worked with uh, Kevin Harris and I ran into him at the track and he told me about Crawler Ted's Garage, then I got into crawling, then I got my first trail truck which is a Wraith, then I got a Honcho and things just exploded from there, I just fell in love with crawling. So thank you Ted and Kevin and Louie, Bill the Goat, Crazy Joe and Rookie, I can't I can't tell you how supportive those two have been through everything you can name from the good times, the bad times, um, just everything. I don't want to go through the fine details of how good of friends they are, but Joe and Rookie are two amazing human beings. And if you have, if you know them as friends, you should be thankful that you are their friends. And if you ever get the chance to meet them, shake their hand firmly and tell them they're a good person because they fucking are. And then uh, let's see, who else can we put on there? Brad Craig, recently Recovery Mike. I, I knew Mike for years. I teased him about RC, then he finally got one, and he hook, fucking hook, lie, and sinker. It's like freaking crack to him. It's great. I love having him around. Um, there's just so many over the years that I trailed with. I miss Penguin. I miss Chaz. 
Bill the Goat barely ever comes out, but he's a family man and he's busy and he lives out of town, so he, it's tough to get him out. Uh, Mud Misfit, uh, Brad Craig, 403RC on Instagram there. There's just so many. I didn't write down names. I should have wrote down names. There's been so many people over the year that I can thank, and I just don't, I don't want to go on and on, but I think I named all the good ones. <laughs> Not all the guys. I'm sure I missed some that are important to me as well. I just can't think of them right now. Molly's been upstairs rolling on the couch and hanging out outside because it is a beautiful day. But uh, I'm going to get uh, back outside and hang out with Molly because she's got energy out the yin-yang lately because I got her back in shape. She's in better physical shape, you know, better diet, so now she's got energy all the time. She used to nap like a cat. Now she's down near puppy again. She's almost turning 10 here shortly. So thanks for watching, guys. I, I really do appreciate it. Thanks to all the guys who hit the thank you button because that really, really, really surprises me every time I see it. I really appreciate it because it helps me out so much. And then, um, yeah, keep watching, comment, thank you, uh, hit the thumbs. I will always, I try to answer every comment because a great man, medic, a great man once told me that uh, answer every comment until you can't. So I'm not at that point yet where I can't answer every comment. So I do try and answer every comment. Sometimes I miss them. I, I can't get them all. And it's not just because of laziness. It's uh, hi, baby. There's the suck. Oh, you're a squishy face. Come on. Come on. Hi. No. She doesn't want to jump up. <laughs> what? What? There she is. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit of Molly for you. All right. Yeah, fun. I don't know how many times I've said it, but okay. But thanks for watching. <laughs> I love you too. And no deer. <laughs>